Hello YouTube, Total Henry here, and I'm back with another episode of what I'm reading and watching the weekly show where I discuss the manga and anime that I've read and watched over the past week. Okay, so starting off, you can see different setup, a bunch of posters in the background. I'll just give you guys a quick look at those just so you can see. These are uh, above my bed. But enough of that, let's get on to the show. As I said, a weekly show. We'll try to get this out every Monday. And as always, there will be a, a times in the description for each of the manga and anime that I'm talking about. So you can skip what you don't want to hear and watch what you want to hear. So starting off, like always, with the weekly series is Toriko. Toriko Chapter 315. Now... What the hell happened at the end? I am so confused. I don't know what happened. And I, ha I have no clue anymore. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about with this chapter is... I don't like it when things in Toriko are just so, so strong. Like at one point in this chapter, Coco said he threw something at like this nearly the speed of light. Everything in Toriko is so strong. The Monkey King skips stones that go... He skips mountains that, like, keep going all the way around the world. And it's just too much. And also, they're stronger creatures. So how can they be this strong? Pretty soon, the creature's going to be the size of the sun. It's not going to be able to fit on the Earth. Everything needs to tone down a little bit, in, in my uh, opinion. Um, okay. Next up is Bleach. Chapter 618. This was a interesting chapter. Ichigo finally attacks after coming face to face with Yawak and just sort of like talking, just chatting. He decides, I should probably attack this guy. As you can see, Ichigo's right up there. He decided to join us today. Um... And also, Ichigo says some things, the way he acts reminds me of the Soul Society arc, which is great to see, because I feel like that was the best part of Bleach, and Taikubo is like, bring back the old attitude of Ichigo, I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna win, I can do this, and I am looking forward to the fight, as I've mentioned plenty of times before, and some of the plot development with the Soul King and the Soul Society, and I'm not gonna mention yet, but a new a character that hasn't been around for a while appears in a few chapters i'll maybe mention his name because it won't be a spoiler but for now i'll, I'll i won't spoil you guys next is one piece chapter 779 um this was a really good chapter there was a great double page uh color spread with everyone eating pizza great uh artwork by oda great uh, just Nice illustrations, nice colors, it was very colorful, vibrant, and it was just one of those things. It just makes you feel good, because we're all having a good time. Uh, what else? Now, I've always wanted to see a flashback of Zolo when he trains with Hawkeyes, and in this chapter, you get a little few panels of that, and it's great. I want to see more of those flashbacks with, like, Zolo during his training, Luffy during his training, during the uh, time skip those two years. Um, so that was really good. But mainly this chapter f focused on Luffy and uh, Bellamy's fight, their s second fight. It was really, really sad. Just a lot of things Luffy was saying to Bellamy and the reasons behind the fight. And a lot of the panels were the same panels from the original fight back in the Sky Pia arc around maybe I want to say volume 24 or so around that volume so if you read it and you had read one piece of course you're reading, reading one piece why wouldn't you be reading one piece you would see the same panels like the Oda drew them in the same way with the same composition um okay next up is Nisekoi chapter 161 and there is another cliffhanger. This has been non-stop cliff cliffhangers in Nisekoi. This was a really great, great chapter. Um, now, Raku has uh, another great moment. Raku shines. Um, he is becoming a better, better character. 
And it also feels to me like Nisekoi could be ending just based on this arc. Raku and Shitoke are growing so close, they're going through so much trouble that for Nisekoi to go back to what it was, this goofy one chapter story arcs, it something is missing. There has to be a big change that's coming around around from this. And there might be, I don't wanna spoil what they've been, been talking about. But I something major has to change. If not, Nisekoi could be an ending, and okay. Next up is Shokugeki no Soma, chapter 109. This was a good chapter. Um, the story arc ended where they were interned at a restaurant, and that looks like they're going to do something similar again. So this chapter, half of it was wrapping up the old story, and the other half was bringing in the new story. Um, an old character comes back, which is interesting. And Soma's going to go with the old character, and there's going to be interesting dynamics, and I can't wait to see these Soma react to this new character, because they don't really like each other, there's a rivalry there, so this is going to be cool. Next uh, series is My Hero Acad Academia, chapter 33. There was another color page here, this wasn't the double page spread, this was just sort of like a title page. R really cool, uh, really uh, good use of... Um, shading and red and orange really dramatic this this was a a great chapter and it's been so long since there's been like an actual fight in this series that it's been more sort of like a karate kid training exercise thing which i like which i enjoy but i kind of want want to see some more fights because they're heroes they should they're fighting villains so this was a one-on-one -on -one tournament where the main character Midoyuya, he was fighting and he has so much potential. He did so well in this chapter. And he saw something interesting in this chapter. And I hope this gets explained more. Because he had a very, wasn't sure what it was. He gave a, a little explanation. And I just hope they explore that more. Because it was uh, interesting. Now finally, I have great news for everybody. I am adding a new series to my weekly series lineup that I'm guaranteed to talk about every single week and that is the volleyball manga Hayaku. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hayaku, the chapter 1448 and this is a great chapter. This is a fantastic series and I've been reading this series a lot lately and I just got to the point where I've caught up so I decided might as well share what I think with, with you guys. And I love this series a lot, mainly because of the characters. The characters are so great that even uh, when Karasuno, the team, I hope I'm pronouncing the school right, or Karasuno, um, even the other teams that they are playing, you want to, you don't know who to root for because of course you want the main characters to win, but the other team has characters that you like, that you want to see succeed, that have their own reasons, their own goals, their own drives. So it's hard to root for people because you like all the characters and they all have things they're good at, they all have pasts, they all have mistakes, and they're fleshed out, they're real characters, and the action is good. I never knew volleyball could be this exciting. Everything about the series I love. The only bad part, if I had to pick any, is the art. It's not as good as I as other series but it is it is good i mean like i'm comparing it to like death note or something or one punch man or the latter volumes of like hikaru no go i shall 21 just well essentially obata and i'm blanking on his name the guy that draws one punch man um what was his name uh Yusuke Murata. I had one uh, I showed 21 volumes over there. I was just looking at him. Um, so yeah, compared to those guys, the art is not as good, but it's still solid. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh my god, the next match. I cannot wait for that next match. It'll probably take like maybe a few chapters before they start to match, and then like another 20 before the match is over. But it's, it's worth it. I love this series so so much excuse me i i just can't stop praising it so now you can hear me talk about it every week next up is jump start we are rounding down this is the second to last week jump start is where 
uh, America's Weekly Shonen Jump online gets the new series from Japan and brings the us readers the first three chapters of those series and so the four series that I've been been talking about have been Kagami Gami, Black Clover, Cyborg Rogi, and Ultra Battle Satellite. Now today I'll talk about Cyborg Rogi Chapter Three, the final chapter that we will begin in America, and Ultra Battle Satellite Chapter Two. So at the end, once Ultra Battle Satellite Chapter Three is done, Weekly Shun Jump will pick which series to continue, and and that series will continue on until it stops, until it, it ends, or until Weekly Shun Jump decides this isn't really good, people aren't liking this, we're going to get get rid of it. So it's very exciting because they're a new series. And so starting off with Cyborg, Rogi, uh, this is... Uh, oh, where's, the, where's my sheet? Okay, Cyborg, Rogi, Chapter 3. This was the final chapter, and I still cannot get into this manga. I am trying, and... There was some sort of story arc where he's going into a toy company. I don't. I didn't even know what the chapter was about, and I read it like twenty minutes ago. And this is just one of the series when I find the series that like I'm just not interested in, but I'm re reading it. Whether I thought whether people said it was good, and I'm checking it out, or whether I'm just like kind of over it. At a certain point, I just start to skim it, not really care, not really like reading deeply, reading for the content, trying to figure out what's going on. I just skimmed this one. I'm, I I can't get, get into it. I don't really like the art. I don't like the main character. I don't like the characters. The, I, I just, I just don't like the series. Next up is Ultra Battle Satellite Chapter 2. So one more chapter of this series, and then next week will be the last jump start. Last time you have to hear me talk about these series. Um, this was an okay chapter. Last week, I loved the first chapter. I thought it had a lot of potential. It just went downhill from, from there. Um, there was a lot of talk in this chapter, not a lot of action. And that's the thing that I loved about the first chapter was the action. And I thought even though there was a lot of talk and I didn't like the side characters, and I only, only really liked the main character, that the action was good enough that I would enjoy the series. But based on this chapter... I realized I only like the main character. All the other characters bug me a lot, just design-wise and the way way they talk. And only the action's good, and there was very little of it. And I feel like if I were to continue re reading this series, if I found it online somewhere and I kept reading with it, eventually it would only be for the action, and eventually I would just stop because I just couldn't take these characters talking about stupid things that I don't care about. So... I'm Ultra Battle Satellite is going to need a fantastic chapter 3 for me to vote for it and for me to want it to stay in Weekly Shun Drum. As I've said previously, I love Black Clover and I want to see that continue. So next week I'll have my thoughts on Ultra Battle Satellite chapter 3. And I'm going to end the video here. Um, I've talked about a lot of stuff. I will bring anime back. At least uh, two weeks from now, once Jump Start's done, because that's been making these videos longer. And I hope you like this video. And tell me what you think about this new wall and where I'm sitting. It, I think this looks great. What do you guys think? So that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it.